Welcome to This Is The Day. This Is The Day with Drew Crisp and a scowling Bo Chansey. I wasn't scowling. It was a scowl. There's no scowl. <laughs> it was more of a, I don't know. I don't know about this. No, I mean, I can scowl. I, I'm prone to scowl. When, when do you scowl the most? Like, uh, what, 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 what dictates a scowl? I'm assuming it would be during the waking hours. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're a scowl sleeper? <laughs> That'd be horrible. Bo, Bo, wake up, you were scowling. Oh, yeah. Leave me alone. This is where I do my scowling. <laughs> it's my best scowling work. <laughs> I'm a scowler. Oh, man. Yep. Yeah, good yeah. morning. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. <laughs> hey, it's Monday, and this is the day. That's it. So glad that you would uh, join us for This Is The Day. We've got some fun, some encouragement, some uh, some exciting stuff going to happen That's today. That's absolutely right. Yeah, and uh, we would love for you to share the show. Share it. Absolutely. We have this very exclusive show, Sharer Society, and uh, you can be a part of it. That's absolutely right. You can be a part of the show, Sharing Society, by simply sharing the show. Yeah, it's a click and a share. It's a click and a share. And you're in the society. That's right. That's all it takes. That's it. There's no secret knock. Mm -hmm. It's click and a share it, in the society. Listen, I don't know where else you can find societies anymore. Are societies a thing? I think they've they've all fallen. Yeah. Every, every <laughs> they society all fallen. <laughs> has now crumbled. Yes. And they are they are over, except for the show sharer society. That's right. I used to find most of my uh, societies like at the library. Like, you know, the little board at the library, and you're like, okay, I don't need that lawnmower, but I'd love to be a part of this society. But I don't see the, <laughs> no. I don't see the, uh, the, the notices anymore for the societies. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to find the one where you, it, like, uh, gets you on that fast track to be the president. You know how there's, like, that underground society where you can be a part of it, and then, the, you know, you kiss a skull, and then you're part of the track to be a president. I think that was a movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Two movies, and <laughs> the, the sequel didn't do as well. The sequel didn't do well. No. No. Okay. So, yeah, share the show, and uh, thanks for joining us. We're going to mm -hmm. have a lot of fun today. Absolutely. And, um, you know, we have had had mm -hmm. some of these incredible mugs, mm -hmm. life-changing, this-is-the-day mm -hmm. mugs. Yep. Just uh, really a representation in mug form. That's right. Of the show. Yep. Yeah. It's basically the show in a mug. Show in a mug. Yep. Life-changing. Right here, you drink out of it, it changes everything. And we've had some some video evidence of how the mug has changed lives. We've had some pictorial evidence. Yeah. Um, we've had some mug shots. Yep. You know, picture of your mug with a mug. And so, as a part of the show sharer society, we do ask that uh, we want people to participate. Right. Yeah. You know, th this is the day, fam. And uh, we love getting content from you. So, um, when you have something to share with the show, you can send that to this is the day at manchesterchristian.com. Yep. So we love to see some of that. And so we have a member. That's right. Very high-ranking member. I very, might very high ranking. Very high ranking. Very, high ranking, very, mm -hmm. very powerful. Mm -hmm. Has a lot of influence mm -hmm. uh, on this is the day. Uh, a part of the show sharing society. I'm going to make a large statement right now. Okay, go ahead. If it weren't for this member, mm -hmm. no one would ever see this is the day. That's Whoa. highly likely. Highly likely, yeah. right? All right, so okay. tell, tell us who this person is. All right, this member is one Gloria Beachy. Gloria Beachy. Absolutely. Mother yep. of... Mother of. Johanna Beachy, who familiar. sits here on yep. Wednesdays. Yep. Um, but also mother of Joy Beachy. Joy Beachy. And Joy Beachy is the one who makes, like, the magic happen. She makes the magic happen. Yeah, yeah. This yep. is how this is able to, to go out. Absolutely. And, uh, and gets that going. Um, but Gloria uh, received her mug from sharing the show. Yep. She was a lucky winner, and she sent us a video. So let's check this out. Let's check it out. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Yes! She's a believer. She's a believer. And I believe that was uh, definitely some Davy Jones there. Absolutely. And the monkeys. That was mm -hmm. not Smash Mouth. Okay, all right. Fair I enough. mean, made the song accessible to another generation through yes, Shrek. Yes, they did. Yes. But that was, I'm pretty sure that was the monkeys. That was the original. Little Davy Jones there yep. singing I'm a Believer. Mm. This is the day. It's changing lives. Yep. Yeah. Was that there? Was that the monkeys' like top hit? Uh, they had like. 
I think they had a series of number one songs. Okay. Yeah, there was. There were a number. I can think of several, but I don't want to sing them. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> and monkeys with two E's. It's not an E Y. No. Oh, and then their their logo was really cool. It was, it was a guitar. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I like the monkeys. Yep. It's a fun show. It's good. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, just so you know, too, um, when you send us a video like mm -hmm. that's that one had music on it, uh, we got to be really careful with that. With the music. We do. Just mm -hmm. so you know, so. Um, we, our preference would be that you maybe sing the song. That's right. Yourself. Yeah. Um, because then it doesn't get flagged and, and taken down by the internet police for copyright <laughs> infringement. <laughs> Hello, uh, I am the internet police. I'm here to take down your video. That's how it works. It's I happened know. many In times. Many times. Yeah. Many yeah, times to us. Like, well, sometimes they'll even just put a boot on it. You know, they'll yeah. put a boot on the video. And then you're just bootstrapped. And then you got to call the number and say, like, can I get this boot off this video? I really want it. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a problem. It's a problem. Those <laughs> so, internet police. The internet police. Oh, man. Yeah. So thank you, uh, Gloria. That was, that's awesome. I love it. So yeah, we love to see how you guys can contribute. And you know, just so everybody knows, I'm not sure they do. Summer mm -hmm. is on. Summer is on. Summer is on. Yep. Is It's it's on. Yep. It's not off. It's on. I mean, you can tell that. It's going to be like 101 degrees today. It's going to be hot. Yeah, well, 101. Yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty steamy out there. I was, I was under the assumption when I moved here that it didn't get that hot. It doesn't stay that hot. Okay. That's the thing. I was told it didn't ever, it never got that hot. Well, Drew, I will speak for the rest of New Hampshire because uh -huh. now I've been here 10 years. Yeah. Um, you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> that is the overall vibe, isn't it? it it's is. like, there isn't anybody right now that was like, <laughs> Oh, we're so sorry, Drew. <laughs> Just, it's okay, we gotta buddy. Him. We it, gotta keep him. <laughs> Can we talk to the weather people? We gotta keep him. <laughs> Anybody from New Hampshire just went, bye. <laughs> Whatever. That is the overall vibe, isn't I know, it? man. That's you why I leave. love it. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> That's awesome. It's uh, more lake for us to enjoy. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, well, see ya. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, but summer's on, so find some ways to enjoy summer. It may not be the, the summer you would have uh, mm -hmm. wanted or the summer you would have planned, for sure, but the summer you got. So That's right. how is summer on? Uh, we're celebrating that on This Is The Day, looking for ways to say, hey, this is what, what's going on this summer. So please send us some, some pictures, some videos of how summer is on for you guys uh, to This Is The Day Absolutely. at ManchesterChristian.com. Yep, and maybe, maybe this is a good time for me to give some ideas. So, like, maybe there's a wiffle ball tournament uh, in your family, uh, maybe you have some type of watermelon uh, crafting, you know, like a, a sculpting. sculpting. Yeah, watermelon sculpting. Um, what else? Water balloon fights could happen. Um, maybe you guys can just come up with you your own. You come up with your own summer stuff. <laughs> You're gonna do things, you know. <laughs> and when you do those things, just uh, get pictorial evidence and send it. Yeah, like I'm, I'm strongly considering. I haven't decided yet, but mm. I like to. I, I sit in my backyard and have this uh, fountain out there. And uh, the frogs are finally out. Yep. So right now they're they're only, they're only about like that big, but mm -hmm. if you sit really still, <coughs> they'll come out and they'll they'll lay around the. So the other day I could you know because they're kind of camouflaged. I I spotted like seven at one time you know little frogs, yeah. and uh, one of our dogs is is kind of has a thing going with the frogs. Okay. So Charlie Brown, our beagle mix. She's got a thing where she goes over there <laughs> and pretends like she's not looking at the frogs. So she, and she acts like she's sitting, but she's not. Like her, her bottom's not touching the ground. She's up on her haunches just a little bit. And she'll look away from, from the rocks <laughs> and just for like 20 minutes, just waiting for some movement. And okay. then if a frog goes off a rock into the yard, she didn't call one yet, but okay. But I'm thinking about I'm thinking about getting some <laughs> video evidence of this. <laughs> yes, I would. I would actually uh, maybe 30 minutes. Of I'd nominate. Charlie Brown. Uh, yeah, just that showing. If we can do like a picture in picture of this show and and that is uh, like yeah. oh maybe I just set up a cam. Yeah, <laughs> a fountain cam. <laughs> it's it's Froggy Vision. Froggy Vision. <laughs> uh, Starring but, Charlie Brown. <laughs> so you said seven frogs. Yeah, yeah, that's what okay. I counted. No, that's what I could see. There may have been some more. I thought you used to have eight frogs. Well, I don't know. I Did one croak? Why do you ask? <laughs> sorry, it was it was a setup to a, a croak frog joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I got it. Did one it. croak? I'm just you riveting you. <laughs>
He's riveting me. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh well, that was so man. good. Oh, my gosh. You know, catching flies. That's what we do here. Just catching flies. Catching flies. Yep. <laughs> They're out there. <laughs> we should hop off to this to something else. <sighs> For sure. Bo, what'd you do last night? What'd you do this weekend? Me? Yeah. Well, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. That. Yeah. All right. What'd you do this weekend? Oh, man. So I told you on Friday. Yeah. It's like, man, I want to get on a train. Yeah. You know, I like trains. Love trains. Who doesn't? Yeah. So uh, decided to take the boys to the, let me see if I can say it, the Winnip Winnie Pasaki? Winnie Pasaki. Winnie Pasaki. Winnie Pasaki. You just got to commit to it, right? You just got to say it fast. Say yeah. everything. Yeah. Winnie Pasaki. Winnie Pasaki. Scenic Railroad. Also, there was, I was confused because they also kept calling it the Hobo Railroad. That's what I, yeah. Is, okay. Or is it the same thing? The, the, the sign said the same thing. Okay. I don't really know. I know that there was two different buttons to click, and I was like, well, I don't really want to see it, hobos. I'd like to see Did a hobo them. chase you? No hobo chases then me. Not, I don't yeah. think you were on the hobo railroad. Well, there was a gentleman who was on the train who I think might have been homeless, but I think maybe he was just another patron. Okay. Um, anyway, so we, I, the boys and I, Kaylee, she, she was, she went down, she had a girls weekend. So okay. it's just the boys and I. Oh, she didn't go to the railroad. She didn't go to the railroad. Okay. She decided to go on a uh, zip line. And uh, what you, you said <laughs> girls, it was a, girls, weekend. girls weekend. That wasn't what I envisioned. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. She's like, yeah, they, I'm just understanding the relational dynamic uh -huh. here. You know, yep. you're like, honey, man, let's go uh, up north to Winnipesaukee and do this railroad. Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, I'm out. She's like, that's too lame. <laughs> <laughs> I need some. I need some extreme adventure <laughs> in my life. That's it. That's it. That's okay. It'll happen. Yeah. So, yep. in order for her to go zip lining, she's got to go out with the girls. She goes with the girls. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't do the heights. Um, so, got on the train, fantastic. It was just like a, it was a great experience. Uh, old train, not well, uh, not a lot of people up on that train, you know, it was That's like good. us in yeah. there and like one other family. Okay. But man, it was beautiful. And it just, you know, it goes from Meredith, New Hampshire, down to Ware's Beach and then kind of goes back, mm -hmm. so. Did you walk around the town? Uh, so then once we saw Ware's, we were like, oh man, let's get back to that. Yeah. And so. Uh, cool boy, town. Great town, yeah. great town. Uh, I gotta show you this sign though. Okay. I saw a sign that said, we miss our dancers. And I think it's a prayer, because it says Lord. It doesn't say Lord, it says LRD. <laughs> oh, LRD, so we mi it was like, we miss, our we miss our dancers, Lord. Like, give us back our dancers. That's what I thought it said, I don't know. <laughs> where, where are the dancers? <laughs> Lord, we miss our dancers. <laughs> where did the dancers go? <laughs> so yeah, that's the... <laughs> I got arrogant. <laughs> so I saw a sign, I was like, what? Oh, okay, Lakes Region Dancers. Got is it, what the, I didn't yeah, know what that a, But I originally read it as a prayer. I was like, we miss our dancers, Lord. It's like, wow. It's also not a prayer, it's more of like a, what's up? What's Amen. up? <laughs> Amen. 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 Uh, yeah, but no, yeah, so then we, once we saw it, they were like, I didn't know if we could get off or not, so we, we went back and I was like, guys, we gotta head back to that beach. And so then we, we did go back. Um, I got a picture of Lock, or Cal here. He's looking at this boat. I don't know if you can see it in the picture there. It's some kind of like eatery, and the people are eating their food in the lake. It had one of those like, Seats that you could like, you know, sit, sit in lake sit water. Sit in lake and water. Eat and eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, a guy came up while I was there on his jet ski, got off. I was like, it just, the jet ski was like, it was a little weird because it was, he didn't anchor it or anything. It was just kind of floating. And I yeah. was like, okay. But he sat at the thing, had some fries, <laughs> or and then just got back on his jet ski. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so that was interesting. And then, then the boys were like, can we get in? I was like, well, you don't have your suits on, but absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Say, wait, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, God, I know everybody has been to this lake. It's my first experience. Fantastic. I can't it's believe beautiful, it. beautiful, yeah. Yeah. And so I've got a, a short 15-second clip that oh, we can sweet. talk over, Bo, as, you, as I force you to watch this. Well, I love yeah, right. living vicariously through you. <laughs> so, yeah, I know this is the boys uh, at the lake. I couldn't believe it. It was like... What the heck? This is so beautiful. It's just so absolutely incredibly. I just, they were loving it too, man. They were loving it. It's just, I can't get over the beauty of this state. I know. I can't get over it. I just keep letting it wash over me.
See, now everybody's like, all right, all he right. can stay. He can stay. He can stay. <laughs> Actually, here's what people are going to do. You moved from down south, didn't you? To bring that heat with you? Oh, that's what it is. You brought it. Why do you people say that stuff? <laughs> I don't think that's how weather works. <laughs> Did you bring that heat up from Texas with you? Uh, I've lived here 10 years. And, I mean, that's why they do the census. It's because they got to make sure that people stay in the right spots, you know? I, yeah, well, and I'm sure that, you know, another person in the state, does, I mean, it, I'm, I'm emitting some heat, you know, <laughs> there's energy <laughs> leaving that does translate, but it's pretty minuscule, I don't... <laughs> I don't think I'm bringing that much of a, a variation. Yeah, it shouldn't be, I mean, okay. only five people in my family, I mean... <laughs> we run, I were actually very cold-blooded. some cold -blooded. people, like, left and, you know, went to Florida and some died, I think it kind of balances out. <laughs> did you bring that heat with you? <laughs> did you bring... Oh, yeah, I did. What if you didn't ever understand colloquial language and you're just like, I didn't bring heat with I me. I didn't bring The heat that I had there I brought here, but I don't believe that affects weather pattern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you didn't get it. That would be fun, though. Just to, Literal guy. Anytime anybody says anything, we'd, we'd do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would bring, like, a whole new meaning to heat wave. Heat wave. <laughs> Stop! Stop it! It's already 101 <laughs> forecasted. Don't. Don't wave your heat at me. Don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. Okay. So it was great. Um, it's quite a fun weekend. Fun weekend. And yeah, it was boys weekend. So man, we were having a good time. Man, it was, it was, it, there is always that moment at the end of the boys weekend where you're like, okay, how far out are you? About two hours? All right. Hey guys, we gotta get going here. We gotta, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go ahead and pick these dishes up. Uh, is that cheese? actually molded to the carpet. Okay, we gotta okay. fix that. Yeah. Understood. Had that panic. Yeah. Moment, but. So my daughter, oldest daughter, Eliza, she's, mm -hmm. a, she's a waitress uh -huh. at uh, Texas Roadhouse. I love the Roadhouse. Yeah, well they just opened up their outdoor seating, which is just lovely scenic location. <laughs> 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 behind the building next to the dumpster. <laughs> and I'm not kidding <laughs> at all. I thought you were going to say it was in the front. It's like, is that Hobby Lobby new? That, oh, no, that would be like, yeah. wow, that's pretty. <laughs> There's a basketball hoop back there and a storage pod. <laughs> but anyway, so she was, you know, we, we, we're, we'll go out to the outdoor seating. Yeah. Um, and uh, so she, she said it was really, it was slow. So she's like, Come, come up. So we went and had dinner there uh, last night, and my daughter waited on us. Yeah, she's not too bad. Yeah. Did you did you go easy, or were you just as like? I mean, you're always, you know, no, pretty I'm, gracious. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. pretty chill. But I, it was a little weird, like having her serve us, right. and you know, I'm like, can I get you anything else? And it's like, oh yeah, that's your job. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are? Wait, what? what? <laughs> I've known you for 19 years. I can get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Hold on. Just <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Do you need? Uh, yeah. So we did that. That was uh, that was an interesting. It was fun. Food was great. Uh, she did a good job, and and it is outdoor seating. So I was glad to have that option. We hadn't been there, uh, and in quite a while. So it was fun. Yeah, man. I always play a game there, where it's like, okay, that's the last roll. Oh. Okay, I, that's the last roll. I felt so gross. That's the last roll. I'm the not gonna roll. do another one. There's only one more left, I can't, okay, all right. Probably get a basket of those to go. <laughs> <laughs> Their rolls are good. Because I don't typically, I won't typically eat any rolls. Mm -hmm. I'll just skip them, I had yeah. two. I'm, I doubled down. Yeah. And with the cinnamon butter. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's it. Wowzers. You get some of those ribs, make a little sandwich with them. I'm sorry, this is gluttony that we're talking about it's now. It's not good, point. yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. sure about making a rib sandwich. <laughs> 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 I ate those two rolls. I had a hard time getting them my 34s this morning. Uh, my 34. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do like half and quarter sizes on the pants? Well, I like you know? the, the 35s give me a little more room. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't need all this room. Why don't I? Why can't I do a 34 and a half? <laughs> all right. right. You know what it's time for. I do know what it's time for. Verse of the day. That's right. You version Bible app gives us a verse of the day. And uh, today's verse is from the Gospel of John. Love it. John chapter 1. 
And I, I love it. I just, I kind of enjoying all these like tie-ins. You know, we're doing this series called OMG, Oh My God, all from Isaiah 40. That's right. Uh, where we're looking at one chapter from the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament. And as I read John chapter one today, uh, John quotes Isaiah 40. Oh, he does? Yeah, in there. And so it just, you know, in, in Isaiah 40, uh, yesterday was, uh, was the verse of the day for Sunday. Uh, Isaiah, it was from Isaiah 40, and so it's kind of cool. Okay. You know, I was doing that while we, were, while we were having services and stuff. So anyway, I thought it was cool. Verse of the day, your version Bible app, download it, read the verse of the day. I like to read the whole chapter, and you know, then we share it with you and discuss a little bit. So uh, verse 5 says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Okay. All right, the light shines in the darkness, mm. and the darkness has not overcome it. Initial reaction, Drew Crisp. Um, you ever try to get like total darkness? No. Like in a room and you're just oh, like, sure, yeah. and you're like, where is that light coming from? You know, and there's always like a crack of light under the door. Like, okay, I gotta turn that light off. And then you're like, whoa, okay, there's a hole in this curtain. Total darkness is hard because the light, light is strong. That darkness can't overcome light. It cannot overcome light. Light always wins. Yes. Always. Yep. Just, just a fact. Yep. Love that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So in the context here, it's uh, John 1, where it's, it's talking about in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and that everything was made by him and through him, and that he is the light of the world. Mm -hmm. um, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So like in, in the life of Jesus, we see this as, you know, he is. So, it, you know, in the beginning, so John's doing that, that direct correlation between uh, the beginning of his gospel, the story of Jesus, he's tying it all the way back to Genesis chapter one, the very first thing you know, that is revealed in, in the Hebrew um, Bible. And so he goes back to Genesis chapter one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Mm. God spoke, he said, let there be light. And there was, so the first thing that God speaks in, to existence is light. And so then John, in his gospel, he's gonna say, okay, now, now I'm gonna tell you the story of Jesus. So let's go back to the beginning. In the beginning was the word. Yeah. And so before anything was created, there was the word that created it. it. And so, and he's saying the word is Jesus and he is the light of the world. Mm -hmm. And the light of the world has come into uh, this world. So God came to us and he has revealed himself to us and the darkness has not overcome it. No. So it feels like, you know, when you feel like you're in dark times, Oof. look at the light. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. the darkness doesn't overcome it. And, and while there may be lots of it, you know, go ahead and, and pursue the light, highlight the light, enjoy the light, because um, the darkness is not overcoming. Yeah. So even though Jesus went to the cross, and, you know, it, which is interesting there, you know, when, when he was crucified and our sin came inside of him and he was separated from God and he took the wages of sin, which is death, separation from life, um, the sky became black. Right. Pre, you know, like right at that moment, and, and then you cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You know, Dad, where'd, where'd you go? He was separated, and the sky turned black, um, but he didn't stay dead. Mm -hmm. you know, three days in the tomb, and on the third day he rose again, and the light shines in the darkness. Right. It's interesting, Bo, like even in my lifetime where you, uh, so very early on, I uh, grew up in Oklahoma. Uh, early on, they had the uh, Oklahoma City bombing, mm -hmm. and it was like, super dark and it was as a formidable time for me and it's like wow this world does have pain and it has darkness move a couple years later and it's like columbine right and then you move a couple of years later and it's uh you know newtown and it's like wow like all of this pain and all of this darkness what's interesting is this plumb line of the light of jesus continuing to say i can i am the hope of the world i am the light of the world uh, it's going to be dark. You're going to have suffering. There's going to be pain. I will continue. If you stay with me, I will continue to carry you through this. And uh, it, he is the hope that I see in this world. And it, but it does feel increasing that the darkness kind of pushes in. But there are always remnants of people who say, "No, there's hope. There's joy. There's positivity. You know, there's there ready, is the bedrock." You ready to take it one step further, please? So Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount says to us, "You." are the light of the world. Come on now. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the ramifications of this are huge. You are the light of the world. So he says, you're a city on a hill. Yeah. 
um, you know, you're, you're a lamp on a stand. Mm. So, you, you know, if, if you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, if you have a relationship with Jesus, who is the light of the world, and then now he is in you, so now you are the light of the world. So the, the cool thing about that is when we, as followers of Jesus, when we step into every single dark corner of the world, the world mm. gets a lot less dark. Right. Because the, the darkness can't overcome the light. So don't don't fall don't I mean I, let's let's be let's really guard our hearts and not fall into this kind of defeated mindset that mm. that says oh it's so dark and it's so bad and it's no no you, you I mean even if the rest of the world around you is dark and it mm. sometimes is you are the light of the world and so be light. Mm -hmm. The darkness cannot overcome it. It does not. It's like those birthday candles that when you like blow on them and then they like relight, it's like, you know, the world's gonna try to blow it out and it's like, boop, it can't, <laughs> it can't. It just can't. That's right. Yep. Verse of the day. I love it, I love it. There you go. That's amazing. Okay, now in my closet, I got this calendar. That's right. And you know what, it's in the dark and sometimes I think it should stay in the dark. <laughs> yeah, it's dark in the closet. <laughs> but I go in there, you know, with my little light shining and tear off a page a day and bring it out and this little light of mine. Oh, closet calendars in there going, let me out, let me out. And here's a good it's example of why I don't want to let it out, <laughs> this page today. Got a little, all right, <laughs> look at this. Let's look at this. I'm assuming that's a Brussels sprout. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have a cartoon yes. Brussels sprout, yep. which I'm, I would just assume the vast majority of people don't even know what a Brussels sprout looks like. <laughs> and the quote, from our little <laughs> smirking, <laughs> eye closed, marching, strutting, whatever it's doing, Brussels sprout says, every day I'm brustling. Every day I'm brustling. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that. How would that? Every day I'm brustling. <laughs> every day I'm brustling. Uh, right? Yeah, I think I know, know that I, song. I, yeah, you know, with Eric there, I thought he was he was gonna like maybe stay in his lane and give us the and then we could do like the next lyric. And then we could kind of keep going on that. No, he goes full on solo. Fair enough. This classic. You know, it, 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 you bring a great point here. How do you draw a Brussels sprout? Because it really, without <laughs> any kind of like spatial uh, clues, it just looks like a head of lettuce. It just looks like uh, I, I don't looks know. Like lettuce. I yeah. mean, or a cabbage. What is a Brussels sprout? Brussels sprout. Man, every day I'm brustling. Every day I'm brustling. What does it mean? Is it like is it hustling? Is that what it's on? Is it I'm okay for when we do our this is the day cause a calendar. I want to do a page where it's like a toothbrush. Yeah. Every day I'm brushling. Okay. Because I feel like, I feel like that has some like positivity, and it's like a good message, like brush your teeth. I feel like what you just said yeah. is exactly on par with this. <laughs> those are those are the same ideas. They're parallel <laughs> tracks right there. Like, eat your Brussels sprouts, kids. Every brush your day teeth, I'm kids. <laughs> yes, it's good. All right. It's good. Yeah. Love it. All right, I'm done with that. Me too. Do you eat the Brussels sprouts? If they are well, like if they're cooked well, Kaylee will make them sometimes, and I, they're really good. Um, and I like to wrap them up in some bacon. <laughs> wow. And then I really like them. <laughs> Who doesn't? Them. I was doing that for some, if there was like, hey, we're having a party, bring something over. Uh, I was doing the- Bacon wrap, break, bacon wrap yep. Brussels sprouts? Yep, for a while there, I was wrapping pickles in ham with some cream cheese and then slicing them up. And that was my delect you know, delectacy. Uh, but, na but then I went into Brussels yeah, sprouts. What? My delectacy? Is delectacy? that what it is? No, no, delectacy. <laughs> okay. It's delectacy, right? Delectacy. Delectacy. Is that what we're going with? <laughs> what is it? Delicacy. Delicacy. I have to spell it out. Delectacy <laughs> was. Um, <laughs> we're just sticking with it. Absolutely. Delectacy. Words. Um, no, it was Brussels sprouts wrapped in bacon. Yeah. It was my. It was the, the go-to I went to. I'll tell you. Uh, Whole Foods does a um, buffalo Brussels sprouts. Come on now. Yeah, they're really solid. They always give me way too many though. Okay. And then I'm like, I feel like, cause there's so many and I only eat like a third of them. Right. I think I, and then I end up thinking I didn't like them. Okay. But it's not true, they're but pretty good. I, that, 
you had me at Buffalo, and I don't idea. care what's after that. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, so they're still pretty healthy. I mean, they're yeah. not, you know, they're in prime or anything. Love it. Yeah. Love okay. It. Okay. Then in my kitchen, where there's still not a microwave. Right. I want to talk about it. Wait, wait. No okay. microwave. Okay. Nope. Right. Nope. No, there was there were no microwave to do ins. Okay, I'm I'm thinking we may like be pioneer people before long. Just just go without. I don't know if you need it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait it out. Yeah, wait Look, it out. If the sumptress buys a microwave, I'll put it in. What can a microwave do that like solar panels can't do? I you know, I, get some solar panels. Let know. the sun do the do Not the radioactivity. Right. All right. <laughs> Okay, and uh, anyway, so on our on our fridge in the mm -hmm. kitchen, there's a calendar that gives us a national day to celebrate. Absolutely. Okay, so this day once a year, it comes around and it leaves, and <laughs> I'm not sure it can leave fast enough <laughs> because today is National Bagpipe Day. Folks, did you hear that? Lean in. No. Lean in. No, don't be excited about this. National Bagpipe Day. I was concerned oh, you man. would be excited all, about this. Oh. Amen. All morning I've been trying to figure out, can I do a bagpipe? <laughs> 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 it's so hard. It's a hard issue, you know, like. Yeah, I mean, you brought up, like, an interesting point. Like, who was the first person who was like, hey, here's a, uh, I don't know, sheep's bladder. If I, uh, if I stick these rods in here and... Seamus, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> I'm making music. I'm making music, Dad. Leave me alone. <laughs> Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you wearing? <laughs> Take off that skirt, it's a kill, Dad! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cut your hair. <laughs> Cut your hair. Dad's what? over there with a big log. <laughs> <laughs> Seamus, you're embarrassing me in front of the whole village while I pick up huge logs. <laughs> <laughs> Seamus. 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 What a name, too. Shame on you. Seamus. <laughs> okay, seriously, like in my church growing up, yeah. we were part of a Presbyterian church, which is like, final, I guess, it like has roots in Scotland. And so once a year, they had this thing where bagpipe players would, would come in wearing their kilts. And, and that's the thing, like, it's not a bagpipe player. It's 10 of them <laughs> in an enclosed space. You know, everybody like, ah, your ears Everyone's got their bleeding. bulletins like, oh, ah. gosh. I, I don't know, but I'll, it was kind of like one of those things, too, where it was so, like, grating and loud and you wanted it to end, but it was at least different than every other week of the year. Yes. Yes. So you're kind of torn, like, yep. this is awful, but right. it's a different awful. <laughs> it's not Linda on the organ. Oh, man, well, at least it's, it's not, <laughs> not that lady trying to hit those notes that, A, I'm not sure even exists. They don't exist. B, we have no business going for them. And has she had a cold for 15 years? What is going My on, goodness, can, lady? How about some auditions around here? It's like nobody's challenging her for the soloist. I sit in front of beautiful singers every week. You guys, you get go? up. Get up get there. Up there. I bet if we all go at the same time, we could take her down. <laughs> You'd be in for a fight. Oh, man. No, she's an, she's an Emerson. She's an, that family owns this church. Yeah, they own it. They own, literally, they own the deed. <laughs> <laughs> we can't fire her. <laughs> Sorry, churches. <laughs> I'm all the time telling, when I go consult with churches, I'm like, listen, all right, this is what goes down in churches. You end up having people in roles that they're not, they're not equipped for. And, and nobody's telling them. I mean, it's like a, they, we need an American Idol moment. No, no. Somebody's got to say it because, you know, you've got, you know, they're like, well, my family says I sing lovely. Your family lies. Bo, Bo is the Simon Cowell of churches. I am. I just like, I'm like, listen, listen, listen. Cindy, Cindy Lou here. Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou, look, you know what? You, you are full of joy and you love to oh. sing and be in front of people. 
And you know what? We have a spot for you. Mm. Wear this orange vest. <laughs> and sing Go up. out to the entry <laughs> way of our parking lot. Oh, no. <laughs> and I want you to sing every car in. Bring them in. You <laughs> sing them in. Bring and them. You, you point them where to go. You just <laughs> sing them in. <laughs> The most important part is that entry point into our, our parking lot. That's it's, important. It is. I mean, that first, imp I mean, because then they can roll their window up and uh, turn the radio on. Oh, turn it, turn, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> Bagpipe, Dan. Bagpipe. So uh, in the wild, our very own Joy Beachy, uh, her neighbor. Yes. I guess would, would do, would, would play bagpipes. Okay, wait, let's just. Okay. In Manchester. Ma in Manchester proper. Joy Beachy. Joy Beachy. Has a neighbor. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who practices bagpipes. Who practices bagpipes. And it wasn't as if, it wasn't as if Joy knew this was coming. This, is, this had happened. I'm assuming like when they show those apartments, like right. when, when it's not, they, they have to, there's like a notice. Like we don't show these on hey, bagpack practice no, day. No. <laughs> is he always here? Yeah, he's always here. Sorry. It's, no. yeah. It's a thing. Okay, so she got video of, she got of video. a bagpipe in the wild. That's right. All right, let's, let's hear let's this. You couldn't tell there because of the bushes, uh, completely pantless. <laughs> I'm kidding. What is wrong with I'm you? Totally <laughs> you have so many issues. I'm so sorry. Could you imagine, like, Joy's just there making coffee or, like, you know, watch it, you know, read a book and... No, what? I'm gonna... What? I don't, I don't have, like, the chat feature up right now, so I don't... Okay. I don't know what the This Is The Day fam is saying. Right. But I'm assuming, mm -hmm. and I know, you know, maybe you shouldn't assume, but I'm assuming knowing our This Is The Day fam pretty well, they're pretty gracious people, and I yeah. like that. Yeah. I really do. There's some of them who are thinking, well, that was lovely. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love that. No. You don't live next door to it. You don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't. controlled the volume there. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the thing. You can't yell out the window, Seamus, <laughs> you're out of 10. I'm going to need you out of two. And everybody, everybody's working from home, you know? A lot of people work from home, and it's like, the, can you mute yourself, Dan? We can hear the, uh, the, the bagpipe player. <laughs> Yeah, sorry guys, I, he just, every day. Yep. <laughs> I mean, there's like, are there a lot of bagpipe like CDs being sold at any point in history? <laughs> it, listen, there's always this question, deal breaker if you're dating somebody. Deal breaker if you get in his car and it's like <laughs> bagpipe music. But it's like modern day, like it's modern day like renditions of, uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is Kesha. It's, uh, it's a bag all bagpipe zone. <laughs> Yeah, red. yeah, deal breaker. Yeah, just drop me off. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'll out. I'll get another just, ride. Yeah. If you can slow down, either way, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna tuck and roll. I'm out of this. <laughs> Maybe get closer to the grass. <laughs> no, no, no. This is crazy. Coldplay. It's Coldplay. Bagpipe edition. You're gonna love oh. it. You're gonna love it. Oh, yeah. what, a, what a horrible <laughs> instrument. <laughs> hey, listen. I did find one other thing I thought was interesting. Okay. I'll do this quick. Um, Jeffrey Chaucer. Oh yeah, Canterbury, Canterbury Tales. Tales. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there was a. a a lovely character in that book called Robin Miller, okay? And they, he talked about the, what they, I don't think he called it in the book, but they referenced it as the Porky Pig, which I guess was a thing, which was a pig that played bagpipes. Okay. So I've got a picture here. This is actually in a church um, somewhere in <laughs> England. And so it, this is like in a church. Piper Pig. Piper Pig. <laughs> and so this was like a thing in the medieval times where uh, the pig was the one who would play the bagpipes. And so it's even in Canterbury Tales where like this uh, Robin Miller talks about the pig coming to town playing the, the bagpipe. It's so interesting. It's such a weird... Want to hear a Canterbury Tales story? Absolutely. Okay. So senior year, uh, high school, honors English, we were studying Canterbury Tales. And it was the final semester of that year. And we had to do a... Uh, a project on one of the characters. So my friend and I, uh, Nate, we picked the partner. Absolutely. So the partner is a character there. And so for our presentation, we created alter egos, who were of course rap stars. <laughs> I was a DJ Orange Crush. 
Of course. And Nate was MC Muscle B. His last name was Bostain. He of was course. Huge. And uh, and Muscle we, B. Yeah. And we wrote a rap, <clears throat> and we performed it for our project. Please. Yeah. Listen up, y'all. It's the partner's rap. So let your head wiggle and let your toes tap. The partner, he scams money for a living. Like Robert Tilton, he calls your kid, man. He scams cash by a partner and says, give me your money, you'll be pure again. He's the man of a cloth, ready and willing for you to repent. At top billing, he'll come straight to your face, tell you there's no time to waste. Give him money quick so you can be back in grace. What? First part of it. What? I know the whole thing, but yeah. That, you just dropped the mic on Jeffrey Chaucer's partner's tail. And then it was Piper what? Pig solo. Piper Pig. What is that? So oh terrible. my goodness, that was amazing. Yeah, right off the cuff, I still remember that. That was crazy. That is crazy. I looked at your eye and I was like, please. Please tell me please you have Please tell it. me you have this. <laughs> if you do, this there is. There were so many, and there were some really cool little breakdowns in there, yeah. Oh, no. We miss our dancers, Lord. <laughs> Man, I mean, that was, we a, we, that was a we miss our dancers moment. Uh, okay. One other, I know we've been on the bagpipes for a while right yeah. now, but let's, let's, they get one day a year. One day a year. Okay, so a little known fact about the bagpipes, and apparently this is true. Right. In 1915, bagpipes were officially banned from leading troops into battle. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Please. Okay. True, true story. <laughs> World War I, it was because 3,000 bagpipers, 3, sorry, this is terrible, <laughs> were killed coming over the trenches. It's like, what kind of military strategist was down there going, okay, boys, <laughs> it's time to come out of the trenches and attack. Start playing the bagpipes. <laughs> Here we come! <laughs> you know, the, like the general's in there going, we're gonna get rid of those pipers. <laughs> this is it. That's... This is it. General Seamus, I don't think that's a good idea. No, oh, it's a no, great yeah, idea. This is a great idea. Great Can't idea. handle any more of the pipes. <laughs> Weird thing, half of them were shot in the back. Oh, no. wait a second. <laughs> oh, no. Piper <laughs> down! Piper We're going to piper down! Why, I, like, how did the enemy even know they were coming? You know, 3,000 bagpipes. Oh. Here we come! <laughs> okay, all right. This is easier than a carnival game. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <Bing>. <laughs> <laughs> there is, as the breath leaves their lungs. Drew. Oh. Uh, yeah. The light overcomes the darkness. It does. It, <laughs> it does. does. Like we got a little dark there. We did. Yeah, we did. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, got a little dark. We there. did. So yeah, there is light. Okay, tell me about something. Because summer is on. Summer is on. It is. Summer is not canceled. What? I don't even understand that. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Absolutely. And so uh, this, there's an event happening. Yep. Tell us about it. MCC. I'm okay. About this. Uh, CIY uh -huh. for sixth through twelfth grade. Yep. Okay. This is an event for them. Uh, students might be at home and they might be like, there's nothing to do. I have nothing to do. <laughs> just mindlessly, you know. <laughs> just I don't know what this is. Like, you know, you're in, you know you're in trouble when you've seen the same TikTok <laughs> four times. You're like, okay, hey, students, we got something for you. CIY. Yep. Okay, it's happening. It's going it's on. It's just different. It's different. It's still happening. It's still happening. It's different. It's different. Okay. And we have a commercial, correct, Eric? Okay, I think this commercial should, should give us everything right, we need. Watch it. Are you feeling down? Are you tired of only meeting your friends in Zoom and Discord calls? Have you watched five hours of TikTok every day before lunch? Two out of three middle and high schoolers have already watched every show on Netflix three times over. 99 out of 100 are starting to confuse words like brain with Brian. A million out of a million are experiencing chronic boredom. Do you feel like summer has been canceled? Well, you're in luck, because summer is not canceled. 
we've got events coming up for all ages, cool games, dope music, a trophy in the shape of a foot. Yeah, you heard me right. Join us for CIY during the evenings of August 9th, 16th, and 23rd. And guess what? It's free. You know what they say, be there or be bored. It's your choice. For more information, go to mcconline.com and click events. Absolutely. August 9th, 16th, and 23rd, 6 to 9 p.m., CIY event for 6th through 12th grade students. If you know somebody who fits that demographic, please have them be involved. MCConline.com. It's, it's, it's on. on. It's on. It's on. And it's not just going to be hanging out with bearded people <laughs> in parking lots. It's going to be a lot of music and fun and games and teaching of... <laughs> <laughs> and and teaching from seriously what? <laughs> it's not just hanging out with bearded people in parking lots. I'm sorry, it's going to be a, a lot of uh, value. So please have your students involved. Sorry, MCC online. Absolutely, absolutely. Is that what I think it, it is? is? It is both. A absolutely. union leader. <laughs> union leader. Okay. A premier paper in New Hampshire. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, right here, Bo. There was. There was something that I was wanting to, uh, oh, right here, okay, yes. It's a challenge to oh, keep I love cool. Uh -huh. um, I don't know how she's doing this on the uh, the boogie board. She's using even the boogie board as a, what do they call those? The skimboard. Skim board. I can't even get the skim board right. This little girl's nailing it. Maybe move to the boogie board. There we go. Maybe but, you got uh, the wrong board. But it looks like Hampton, uh, a lot of people at Hampton Beach, those, those beaches are open. Um, Absolutely. I was looking in here. Actually, I, I was going to ask you about this. Um, I watched this yesterday. Um, the civil rights icon John Lewis uh -huh. passed away. And so they uh, um, took his body one last time over Edmund Pettus Bridge. Right. Uh, incredibly moving uh, moment there because this was the last time and there's a lot of events had happened there in Selma. Yeah. And so um, paper kind of has an article about it. but. Incredibly powerful. If you missed that moment, please find it online. Yeah, uh, check it out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, very powerful. Yep. Um, there's another article here. Oh, not an article. Family circus. Basically, uh, washing the dog, and the little boy says, "You washed the wag out of his tail." Um, and really don't have an issue with it today. I just want to. I think it's uh, important. I'm glad the Keen family's on this. Like. We've got a lot of the tail wagging the dog uh, lately, and so I'm glad that uh, we're getting it out there that uh, sometimes we do need to wash the wag out of our tails and take things a little more serious, so. Coming from you, that's really, <laughs> really powerful and, 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 and meaningful <laughs> in so many ways. Oh, man. No, that was interesting there, but uh, yeah. Kind of kind of light paper today, Monday edition, but. Yeah. Well, not much happened over the Not weekend. much happening. All right. Yeah. But we did have some other news. We did have other like news. Like some good news. Really good news. Yeah, really good news. Because, yep. I mean, you know, the sum summer's on and and church is always on. That's right. Yeah. That's and right. God's always working and moving and lives are being transformed and changed. And we had a baptism. We did. Yeah. We really did. Yeah, yep. we want to share this with you. Yep. This is Chris Bryan. He was uh, baptized uh, last weekend, weekend before. And so here's a picture of him uh, being baptized, and he decided to follow Jesus, and um, he was baptized. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. Woo! Woo! Absolutely. And uh, and that's it. Like, we, we want to celebrate uh, with you, Chris, and so that's why we wanted to share that. And uh, one of the things he talked about was, like, uh, this idea of rededicating our life. And some people may kind of uh, misunderstand, you know, or something, but just this, this concept of, yeah, I... You know, my parents took me to church. I kind of stepped away from it. Um, but uh, any moment in our lives, we can continue to say, I want to make Jesus the Lord. I want to follow him with my whole life. And so that's what Chris was doing. And we celebrate in that, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I will say, if any of you, you know, are thinking about, you know, following Jesus yep. and giving your life to him and going all in, don't wait. Don't wait. Let's do this. Yep. Um, we can help you with uh, being baptized or anybody you know, uh, if you want to go all in or making a next next step, uh, contact us. You yep. can do it in the chat right now uh, or send us an email at thisisthedayatmanchesterchristian.com. 
and uh, we'd love to follow up with you and, and help you on that journey with Jesus. Absolutely. Yeah, and then we want to celebrate it too. If possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Very Speaking cool. of journey with Jesus, yes, sir. Uh, every day with Jesus. Okay. Going to do the devotional. Sure. Yeah. I love it. Our daily devotion in 140 characters or less. And uh, today's devotional thought says, "Authentic transformation is birth in pain. We outgrow the cocoon of self as we blossom into magnificent new creations." All right. And then Romans 5 verse 3. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Man, I love that, that, that mm-hmm. hope does not disappoint. But our, our hope is in this authentic transformation mm-hmm. that is being birthed you know, through this pain. So this perseverance and character and character, hope, they're all building on each other. And so in the midst of, you know, what feels like dark times, you know, mm-hmm. there is this, this light um, that God has put inside of us, his light, that he is present with us. And now as that is manifesting and coming out of us, there mm-hmm. is a hope in what God is producing. Yeah. yeah. And that's a different thing than, you know, um, than, than so much of the, the false hopes that we have in this world. Well, I hope things get back to normal. That yet I can go ahead and let you know right now, you are going to be very disappointed mm-hmm. if that's your hope. I'm just telling you, I don't mean to be like, if that feels like bad news to you, I, honestly, I think it's good news. Things are not going to go back to normal. Hmm. That it's, but there is a hope in that out of this, God is, is birthing new things. He's doing new things in new ways. And, and it's not what it was before. And, and yeah, the, the speed got ratcheted up a little bit, but that's mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And it's, it's moving us forward. We're not going back. Right. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. I'm going to play a little Trivial Pursuit. Let's do it. Speaking of new. Yep. So we have our 40th anniversary edition cards, and I think they're well written, um, but more modern, more accurate. That's right. Still trivial. A little less, though. A little less. Than the original edition. And so we want you to play along at home. I think you'll uh, you'll definitely get some of these right. You may get all six right. You get all six right. We will send you a congratulatory fun dip in the mail. And uh, so answer, make a guess. Every question. I'm going to guess at all of them. And uh, let us know how many you get right. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. Blue. Blue, geography. Okay. Which magnificent Indian landmark was built as a memorial to Mughal Emperor's wife? I don't know if I'm saying that correct, but M-U-G-H-A-L. Magnificent. Magnificent Indian landmark. Indian landmark was uh, built as built a memorial. A memorial to uh, Mughal Emperor's wife. My answer is the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is correct. Let's go. Correct. Okay. Uh, Pink? Pink. Entertainment. What kind of dancing competition features in 2012 movie Silver Linings Playbook? Ballet, ballroom, or salsa? Dancing competition features in 2012 movie Silver Linings Playbook. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I watched. I remember the movie. Philadelphia. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. they were in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. It, so I have three choices. Three what cho- kind of dancing? Ballet. We miss our dancers. Ballroom. We miss our dancers, Lord. Lord. Salsa. Ballet, ballroom, or salsa? Yeah. I'm going, just because I like to say it, mm-hmm. salsa. They were looking for ballroom. Ballroom. Ballroom, I guess. I saw that movie, and I don't remember there being I dancing in yeah, it. Yeah, I don't either. That wasn't Is that a big part of the in. movie? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't didn't know. hone in on that section. <laughs> well, I remember the Philadelphia Eagles yeah. playing a yes. little role, and now they were fans. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yellow. Yellow, history. Name the three main Axis powers during World War II. Name the three main Axis powers during World, World War II. II. Three main Axis powers. Mm-hmm. Um, Germany? Absolutely. Japan? Absolutely. And Italy? Absolutely. Let's go. Good job. Okay. Big Axis Allies guy? (laughs) All right. Uh, Purple? Purple is uh, art and literature. Okay. What was the original name for Charles Schultz Peanuts comic strip? Oh, my goodness. I should know this. I I mean, there's some trivia. Maybe I'm going to, I will probably remember if I don't know. Um, Here's the deal. There, there's a comic strip, right? Peanuts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah Charles M. Schultz knows 
He knows he what was, he's doing. He knew what was up. Yeah, he's my favorite. Like, yep. I used to do book reports on, like, uh, like reports on him. Like, yep. what do you want to be when you grow up? I wanted to be a cartoonist. I can't draw. So that kind of ruled that out yep. and made it hard. But um, the original name. Original name. Was for Peanuts. Mm -hmm. What was the original name? Um, man, I should know this. Uh, Snoopy. I have no idea. Uh, Lil Folks. Little Folks. Lil, Lil Folks. folks. L-I-L. Yep. Lil Folks. Schultz liked to think of his beloved characters as little adults. Little adults. All right. Little Charlie folks. Brown is a little adult, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Good grief. In, uh, green. Green. Science and nature. Okay. In the TV show Big Bang Theory, which scientific marvel did Leonard and what uh, Ra? Raj. Raj. Uh, nerd out over in Switzerland. In the Big Bang Theory, scientific marvel did Leonard and Raj nerd out over in Switzerland. Scientific marvel in Switzerland. What do they nerd out over? Mm -hmm. Well, everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I have no idea. Um, lasers. Nope. We're looking for, and I knew this one, the Large Hadron Collider. It's the world's largest particle accelerator. Okay. Higgs boson. Trying to get that thing, you know what I'm talking about? No, it's just, it's really great that you knew that, but didn't know how to say Raj. Raj, right, absolutely. That's fine. No, it's cool. But, but the thing is, is like, a, a real quick, I, this, is a, uh, this is a rant for me. Okay. If you well, think. If you're gonna start a rant, start it correct. Okay, if, uh, okay, Bo. Bo, okay. If you think the world was created by particles, banging together, why are we trying to bang particles together? I'm gonna try to end this whole thing, guys. Hadron Collider. All right. Um, Remind me to do a rant on your rants. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Orange, sports at leisure. Okay. In 1947, who became the first African American to play on a major league baseball team? 1947. First African American to play on a major league baseball team. Well, now hold on. How come? Why can't I remember his name? It's 1947, not, not 1942. I know his number. Yeah. Yeah. Ace has his autograph. <laughs> Does he really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, he did a whole report on him. Um, wow. Oh my goodness, his number's been retired in every major league stadium. <laughs> mm. What is going on right now? Oh, I watched the, the movie. Mm. It was so good. So good. What is happening? <laughs> well, I've already missed a bunch. Okay. Uh, but his name is? It's, it's not Smokey. It's Jackie. It's Jackie. It's Jackie yeah. Robinson. Jackie Robinson. He got it. He got it. Oh, Absolutely fun. got That's it. That's embarrassing. Boom. I no. don't know. Sometimes my brain just freezes. I know it. I know it. That whole rant threw me off. Sorry. I know. I did a rant in the middle of trivia. That's, That's like. No, it's okay. That's. Well, no. no I, then I got distracted by the futility of that particular yeah. rant. But. <laughs> <laughs> but if you got all six. Yeah, maybe you did. Let us know. Yeah. Ballroom dancing. And yep. What was it? There's another one I didn't know. Hadron Collider. Oh, Lil Folks. Lil Folks. Yeah, I, and I thought I should know that one. Yep. Okay. Peanuts. Yeah. We got time for Sermon Remix? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how long it is. We got time. Uh, 137. We got time. Okay. Absolutely. Go ahead. All right. Sermon ra, 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 Remix. And so as I think about my God being my ultimate, the first thing I would point out to you is, is my ultimate. Oh, my God. Oh, my ultimate. He has big hands. Big hands. And that's a good thing. My ultimate has big hands, which means that he can do big things and that there is nothing that is beyond his grasp, nothing that is outside of what he can contain or control. He has big hands. And so Isaiah chapter 40, verse 12, it says, who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand or the breadth of his hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket or weighed the mountains on the scales and the hills on a balance? It's, it's talking about the, the magnitude of our God. Saying, okay, who, who can measure out the, the waters? 
the oceans in the hollow of his hands or with the breath of his hand, mark off the heavens. Think, think about this, the, the heavens. You ever just laid on your back at night and, and looked up at the starry sky and been in awestruck wonder of the vastness of creation? Even just in that glimpse, when we, when we look at the stars and, and we go, okay, there, there's so many, that we can't even like, like count them and, and, and what we can perceive with our eyes, it, it's not even the end of that. And yet, he knows every one of them, and he created all of them. So true. He's got the whole world in his big, big hands. He's in control. Uh, the, light can, the light has overcome the darkness, any darkness that is in our lives and that we're facing today. So, so true, Bo. He's got the whole world in his hands. Yep. Stop trying to get out of his hands. Stop trying to get out <laughs> of it. Let go, Dad. No. Get in there and, and live, uh, you know, in his hands. That's right. Yeah. He's for you, not against you. And this is the day. So yes. go on and have a day. That's right. Yeah. And we'll catch you tomorrow on Tuesday. <laughs>